Mikey Alcoolin here. So today I have some brand new graphite moulds to share with you guys and in fact the results from those moulds as you can see here in front of us. I've even got a pouring compilation coming at the end of this video, well worth a watch because some of these are absolutely mesmerising to watch getting poured. Now these graphite moulds I had custom made ordered from a company called GNG Machine Works. Uh, they have an Etsy shop, there's a link in the description below, so make sure you go and check out his shop. Uh, you know, it's very, very difficult over here in the UK to get um, custom-made graphite moulds. There's just no suppliers, there's just no market for it. There's not very many UK-based silver pourers or graphite um, machine engineers. So, uh, yeah, I had this made from this chap over in uh, the USA and had it shipped over. Now, he predominantly does kind of glass-blowing moulds, so you'd have uh, your 3D shape and you'd push the glass into it. They're called push moulds, and, uh, you know, you'd even have graphite stamps, which you push into the molten, uh, molten glass to get the kind of patterns and results you want. But you know, graphite's graphite at the end of the day, and he was incredibly helpful, uh, you know, putting these moulds together, getting the designs together from the specifications that I wanted. He hadn't done much kind of silver pouring based moulds before, so we didn't know what the sort of weights would be when they came out, but we kind of guesstimated uh, to the best of our ability. But they've come out really well, as you can see. We've got kind of a 3D uh, pinnacle star as well, uh, and the moulds are really big and chunky, which is really important because uh, it really does help to hold the heat. Uh, you know, in there. We've also got on the other side here a tiny one ounce star as well, but I'll show those little stars at a later date. Uh, but yeah, it's really, really cool. Very, very highly recommend this guy, so make sure you go and check out his Etsy shop. The link is in the description below. But the results have been absolutely fantastic. Uh, I'm really, really happy with the way these have turned out. As you can see, they're kind of, you know, the 3D pinnacle stars uh, are just absolutely awesome. Now, originally I'd bought this uh, mould or got this idea to get this mould uh, for kind of a Christmas, uh, you know, Christmas item basically. Because uh, Christmas is not far away, so I wanted to get an idea of uh, something for a Christmas market type thing, you know, the Christmas eBay. Uh, sales and things like that. So I thought this would be a really good option. You know, Star, it's very Christmassy, but also it can be used throughout the rest of the year. So if I got like a Santa Claus head or a snowman or something made, then I can really only use it once per year. So I thought getting a star would be kind of a cool thing. And I'm actually really happy with the way they've turned out. They look absolutely fantastic. Uh, and because of the design, here is a really neat part of uh, what uh, everything is going on. So we've got the uh, the big star like that, which is fantastic. And it looks awesome. And it kind of stands up nicely with its, uh, you know, lettering facing the right way and everything. But a really kind of cool thing is it spins. And it spins really well if you can get it right. There you go. So that'll spin and spin and spin for ages. Uh, so who needs a fidget spinner when you can have a giant solid silver spinning disc? I mean, it goes and goes and goes. It doesn't work quite so well on the medium ones. You can get it spinning for quite a while. Uh, but the big ones, because I think it's just so heavy and you've got some sort of centrifugal forces happening there, uh, it really does spin for a long time. And I could just sit there and watch that spin and spin, but uh, that would be a little bit boring. Now this one is my favourite of the two big stars, so I have got the other one here, let's show you that one as well. So this one came out at 6.3 ounces and the uh, the other one came out at 7. I think 7 is pretty much bang on the maximum that it could have been, because I think any more and it would have started to overflow from the actual arms. And you'll see on the video uh, later on, the pouring video, just how close it was to kind of being over poured, but it's really, really cool in its own right. What I really like about this is because the edges of the star, the, the limbs of the star are all um, you know, thin, they cool quite quickly. So you can see there's not as many ripples there and that's just because it cools before I even get a chance to kind of tap the mold. Uh, but because the middle is so thick and dense, you can see there, I just need to clean off a bit of that liver of sulfur. Uh, but because you can see kind of the thickness of it there, the center stays liquid for ages. And because it's such a thick mold, it retains the heat really well. It takes ages for it to kind of actually solidify. So you can get some really epic ripples coming out of this mould and as you can see here I've got kind of three or four big waves that I've managed to get out of it. So I'm really chuffed with the way that's looked. Now stamping wise because there's kind of a little crevice and you can see hopefully the camera's doing it a bit of justice that it does have a kind of crevice in the bottom there and that's just because of the way that I've been pouring uh, tapping the mould and the waves created a little you know crevice in the middle there. I've stamped the BYB up a little bit because on the uh, slightly smaller hearts you'll see, uh, sorry, stars. I keep saying that by the way, so if I say heart again you just have to excuse me. But you can see here I've had to stamp the BYB really really hard because it's got that kind of dip and that crevice in there uh, and it's just not um, flat enough. So 
Uh, that's why I've decided on the big heart, on, I've done it again, on the big stars to actually put it slightly higher up uh, so that it doesn't have to be really pushed down and destroy all of these ripples. Uh, but yeah, so this one is uh, 187 of my Leaf Ripple series. So the Leaf Ripple series, guys, if you don't know, is just kind of my flavour of the day. So when I'm pouring, I just pour for the enjoyment of it. And, you know, the Leaf, Leaf Ripple series is just an ongoing series for 2017. Uh, and we're up to uh, 190, I think, now, which is really, really awesome. So uh, closing in on that 200. Um, so these 6.3 ounces, 7 ounces, really, really cool. Very happy with them. Now, the medium stars, they all came out between 3 uh, and 4 ounces, although I think I could probably pour them around the 3 ounce mark. So these were all just ended up, in, ended up being quite chunky monkeys, uh, so to speak. Uh, but I've, again, I've treated all of the lettering with uh, liver of sulphur. I'm really enjoying the way that that kind of makes all of the design pop out so you can really see and accentuate all of the stamping, uh, which I think makes it look really, really nice. This particular one is my favourite of the three medium hearts. I think it's probably my favourite of the bunch, actually, to be honest. I really like that 7 ouncer, uh, but this 3.5, uh, 3.75 ounce star is really, really pretty. The ripples are just perfect. And again, this is all down to kind of part of the, uh, you know, part of the design of the mould, because it's so deep, it can really kind of hold that silver hot for a long time. Uh, and what I really like it here as well, you kind of got a little bit of an overpour. Uh, you know, it's just sort of, just when I was tapping it, it's gone right over the edge there, and it looks like it's a, a wave coming over the side of a cliff or the start of a waterfall or something. So I think that's really, really cool. And that particular one's 190. Uh, so these are all due for hallmarking later in the, uh, in the month, probably not until... Um, I would probably say late October, early November, but if you guys want to reserve them, please do get in touch. They're on my website already, um, and you can go check out all of the purchase links in the description below. But I'm really chuffed with the way these have turned out. As I said earlier in the video, I've got a pouring compilation to share with you guys now, um, so do make sure that you stick around and watch that, because some of these are absolutely awesome to watch getting poured. Um, I'm really, really chuffed with the results. Do let me know your thoughts in the description below, uh, and enjoy the pours.
So there you go everybody, I hope you enjoyed that. As I said, I find some of those absolutely mesmerising to watch getting poured and these moulds are quickly becoming some of my favourite pieces to pour into just because they're so awesome. But do let me know your guys' thoughts on the results, on these stars, do you like them? If you like them, put a thumbs up on this video, that would be very helpful as well. And if you are interested in any of them, the purchase link is in the description below or you can just comment on this video or drop me an email to byb at backyardbullion.com and then we can link up all about them. If you haven't checked out my channel sponsor yet, then please do go check out the Silver Forum. And if you haven't checked out the 100 gram Silver Forum bars, then please do go check those out as well. We've still got lots available on my website and there's discounts available for paid members of the Silver Forum. So make sure you go over to the Silver Forum and check that out if you're interested. Guys, if you like this video, please put a thumbs up on it and share it around on your social media. That would very much help everything that I do here on my channel to get the video shared around with the YouTube algorithm. If you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button and if you hit the little alarm bell notification next to it, then you'll get a notification whenever I upload videos in the future. So all that's left for me to say, guys, is thank you so much for watching and please make sure that you like, share, comment and subscribe for more.